we human are belonging to the same species called Homo sapiens, but we differ from each other. Eye color, skin color, height, and dimple formation vary among us. Why do we differ so? What is the remarkable process behind the expression of such physical features? Guys, believe us, the answer will surprise you. It is a molecular level process brings that visible variation. It is protein synthesis. It all begins with a special molecule, DNA, the substance of inheritance. DNA affects on the phenotype of the organism. The sequence of bases in DNA will determine the sequence of amino acids in polypeptides. It will lead to the formation of a functional protein. Protein will work on expressing what is written in the DNA. A series of complete steps are involved in this process. In converting the information in DNA into the makeup of cells protein, cell doesn't use the information directly. Instead, an intermediate called RNA will be used in between DNA and protein, splitting the process into two major steps. Beginning of this incredible process will be marked with the synthesis of an mRNA molecule using a DNA template. The process involved will be the first major step of protein synthesis transcription. The transcription will mark its initiation with the assembly of transcription initiation complex and the promoter of the gene to be expressed. Then RNA polymerase 2 will move along the DNA molecule unwinding it to read. Next. It will join the complementary RNA nucleotide sequence to form the mRNA transcript. Finally, the transcription will be terminated with the stop signal peeling off new mRNA into the nucleus. Before entering the second major step, the mRNA produced will be modified with the help of enzymes. The need of primary transcript will be altered with the non-coding segment of RNA. Introns are cut off and the remaining parts, exons, are spliced together. Next, the groomed mRNA will be converted to polypeptide. Doesn't this step sound like a translation of a language? If mRNA is considered to have nucleotide language, the polypeptide is considered to have a language of amino acid. The second major step does this language translation like process called translation. sets of three bases called codons, each specify one amino acid. On initiating the translation process, the components of the translational apparatus will come together. Then the codons will be translated consecutively. Amino acids will be brought to the mRNA by tRNA and will be added one by one to a growing polypeptide sequence. As a stop codon was read, the translation process will mark its end and will release a polypeptide chain. 
Later, the polypeptide chain will be further processed to form a functional protein that can work on expressing the phenotype. We think you got an understanding one of the core processes of biology from this video. Thanks for watching.